Oh yeah, here we go again. Simon Says Farms Another Day. Another dollar. I don't know who made that quote. Another day, another dollar. I don't know. Does that mean we're spending more dollars or making more? Not sure. That thing is amazing. Sort of. Just to give you a high level, I mean, you can go back and look and pause and whatever, not sponsored. It's a commitment we made to puppies. This whole Frenchie breeding thing. And in the goat world breeding thing, Liz, the heartbeat lover, the, the, um, how can I say this in a one take wonder where I'm not allowed to edit? She's the heartbeat person. She's the, the, I know who should be mated with who and why, and no, we're not going to make that go. We're not going to breed that goat because the confirmation isn't there. Why would we breed that goat just to breed? We want to better the breed. So for other people buying you know, La Manchas and Toggenbergs and Alpines and now Mini Pines and Mini Manchas and all that kind of stuff. They got to be quality. So if there's something wrong there, if the feet don't look right or the hips don't look right, you don't breed them. In the Frenchie world, if the nose isn't right, you don't breed them. So that thing that you just saw is actually an incubator. So hopefully Piper's not confirmed pregnant yet, but it's just... There's different ways to breed, right? You've got the artificial insemination, the natural, you've got the, do you just let mom raise the puppies or do you help? We've decided to help. We're, uh-oh, that's not good. Squirrel moment. What is that? We have a predator. Dun, dun, dun. We're gonna have to put out a cage? Oh, that's a big guy too. I don't think that's a rat. Where'd it go? Right there. I really don't think that's a rat. All right, we're gonna have to keep an eye on that. I'm gonna cover it. Do I have a camera in here? No, I don't. I don't have one right now. It's been moved. I mean, I have one, but not that covers this spot. So we're gonna cover this up so we can monitor what this is gonna look like later tonight. Does it come back during the day? Or is it just like that in the morning? Keep an eye on that. We might have to put out rat poison, which I don't want to do because of barn cats, but I never see barn cats in here. All right, back to the breeding practices in the goats and stuff like that. So as you know, if you've ever watched a live breeding, ready, this will be a fun one, a live goat breeding on this, not this channel, but you know, the live channel. If you didn't know, we have a live channel, runs 24 hours a day. Links in the description below. That's this barn sometimes when the internet works and that barn way over there all the time. Except when a cat falls from the sky and breaks it. That's a different story. But um, if you've ever watched a live birth, estimate, or if you have a goat notebook, which is for sale on our website, plug, if you have a goat notebook and you know the actual number, how many babies have you seen bred, born, sorry, how many babies have you seen born on our farm? Like you actually watched them. You know, not that you, if you didn't see it and you missed it and you came in after work or the next day, that doesn't count. I mean, it does because you're part of the village and you're here for us, but you actually watched it live, you know, with the five, six, seven hundred people or the thousand people watching. Put it in the comments below. How many do you think you have seen live over the years? I'm very curious to see those numbers, but you guys know our practices. They change. Come on, Lucy, let's go. Go get you some grain. You know, they change. You know, we look at cleft pallets in every goat now. We look at, you know, um, <clears throat> on the Toggenberg, sometimes we have to look at their eyelids because there's, sometimes there's an issue there. It's just, yeah, that's actually cleared up. We haven't seen that in years. Um, so there's just different things. We do a, a Bosey shot, so medication now after the babies are born. We weren't doing that years ago. So things change. Practices change because we want to give these goats and these Frenchies the best possibility of life. Right, Lucy? It's the same reason we're fattening you up, which she is gaining weight. You're seeing she's skinny, but if you feel it here on the top of the rib, right, there's fat. There's fat in here, which is great. It's a little skinny here. She's old. She's old. Old people, old goats. They don't absorb the calories. You could give them to them, but they'll just poop them out. 
and pee them out. It's just a process in life where I don't know what that process is called. Maybe some doctor knows. Put it in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. As you get older, you can give a 90-year-old person, you know, a steak, and they're not going to gain weight, if you know what I mean. Like, you can <clears throat> bring them to McDonald's. Come on, guys, get out of there. You know, a couple times a week, and they're probably not going to gain weight. There's something that just happens that late in life. Now, I'm not saying you should do that, because it's definitely unhealthy. There just comes a time where the calorie quality of your calorie intake is not going to take over uh, just aging, the aging process. So, that little box you saw, big box, big money, big box, is for the baby puppies when we get there to be able to be hand-raised, is what it's called, I think, which is where we, with a clock and technology incubate the puppies basically they have the perfect weather conditions perfect heat perfect humidity perfect temperature i already said that heat temperature all that stuff we even have a nebulizer if one gets ammonia we can jump right in without having to go to the vet right away and there's just so much we can do to prevent loss and we don't want loss so that's what that is. We got to get that set up and ready for about 50 days from now if Piper's pregnant. We don't know yet. So that's exciting. This is not too exciting. Peanut butter banana. Uh, wow, I just stepped on. You know what? I think that animal is a mole because I just stepped on something and my foot like almost fell in. I did some house of pie cleanup. That's some old hay. That's some old string. And now that we have the tractor back, that's been missing. It's actually was stuck in the woods for about a week. Now that we have the tractor back, we can get back to work on a few things. Maybe take out the red trailer, go get some more dirt for Graham's and Tom's dog so he has a place to stay and not roam freely. That'd be comfortable. Good idea back there. Got to set that up. Place for the trailers and the Jeeps and all that. Just more room. Got to go get dirt. Have to get more hay put in the house of pie, but we can't because we have to muck out. Muck out's hopefully tomorrow, but we just sprung a leak on a hydraulic hose, so we gotta fix that, right? Ari, is that your name? Yeah, you make a lot of noise. Every morning, you, you yell a lot. Okay. All right, Lucy's back in. They are all set. I really hope to finish the lattice in the shipping container so we can actually plant those plants. Mark that job as completely done. I'll need mom for that. But I think tonight, not that this gets in the way, tonight or today is girls, women's Olympics, gymnastics, and that's something that Olivia and mom might actually watch live. And not wait till prime time. Just actually watch it. You know, two, three, four o'clock in the afternoon, whenever that might come on. They're keeping a real close eye on that. It's actually funny. Olivia was having trouble at gymnastics. This is actually hell week for her, which means she's in the gym a lot this week. This is that summer camp thing. Ah, it's breakfast in a cup. Where was I going with that? I'm going to water the pepper plants too. Those are doing pretty good but they need some more water because they're in the greenhouse turn that on but listen couple tomatoes oh look at them they look amazing I really want let me close this we'll let that run for like 10 minutes while I go get pig food. I really want to uh, try to Google, oh my gosh, Quinn wants me to get Swanky Sauce tested for Scoville units, how hot is it? So I'm still looking that up, trying to figure that out. How's that process? I'm not buying a meter that tells me how to do it. I just need to get it tested once. 
So I'm kind of researching that a little bit to figure out what would it take to test the Scoville units of a swanky sauce. That's how hot it is. It's in like millions of Scovilles or whatever. But uh, they're growing good. I forgot where I was going with whatever I was saying because it's a one take wonder day. Because there's a lot on the list, which means there's too much on the list, which means not everything will get done. Mom is cranking out some photos, amazing photos. You just wait until these things come out. Her Halloween soap photos, whew, like next level artistry. Take food. Very dusty. I'm not sure if I'm going back to the pig food place or if I'm just going to start buying free bag right now. I'm not sure. It's a long ride and it takes a couple hours out of the day. Save, saves a lot of money when you got to buy a bunch of it. But it is a long time. Who knows? Oh, I just got a whole mouthful. Hip, hip, hip. Whee. Whee. Oh, man, and you guys got it all over your face. Okay, that should be better. Whew. Man, I'm still covered. All right, I think we're done because this video is going nowhere. I don't know where it's going or what we're doing, but yeah, it's a... Uh, gotta go turn the water off. Get some, I don't know, it's just a lot. Well, it's just the way my brain works. There's a lot going on, balancing 10 things at once. Mom's so better at being focused. I'm not focused. Focus, Daniel, son. That was a good movie. All right. But hey, oh, we're getting so close. Tell your friends, both channels are at like a little mile marker. This channel, very close. So I want to say 12,000. I don't remember. I think you guys are dirty stuff. Okay, piggies, stop yelling at each other. Yeah, um, this channel is very close to 12,000, and the live channel is getting there about 100 or so people, 150 people away from 40,000. Big numbers. Thank you guys so much for following and subscribing and watching and buying and chatting and uh, in a different video because it's getting too long. Liz and I just did another radio interview yesterday. And it was a very interesting one. I recorded it, so I will put it in a I'll put it in a video, but that requires some editing to get the little like voice line on the screen and it bounces as we talk. That's kind of fun. That was something new that I learned. Oh jeez. The pig just knocked over the water. And it almost shot me. Oh man. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna let you guys go. See if I can get the piggy water going the right place. Hey, piggy, piggy, piggy. They are so big. All right, time to go. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow I'll be more organized. We'll talk about something. One specific item and not just blabber for 13 and a half minutes. Okay. Bye-bye.